And everybody thinks I'm just a smallmouth fisherman, but my true home lake is Lake Minnetonka. This is all we do. Flip deep milfoil. We don't even fish for smallmouths there. That's just something I do on, like for fun up on Mille Lacs. There's not really many tournaments up there, but I mean, this is really what I grew up doing right here. So this is the first elite tournament I ever fished where I could fish this kind of way. Most of the places we go don't have milfoil. If, we, if there is any, it's pretty shallow. You can't really flip it like this. But, you know, back home, our milfoil top out in 10, 12 feet of water. That's the prime stuff. Um, I'm flipping deep milfoil, concentrating in 10 to 7 feet, and uh, basically just dropping a jig in the clumps and the holes, just trying to pick all this apart. It's, I mean, it's a massive grass flat, but we got a, this little hard bottom area right here. Those kind of seem key when you're fishing this way. And uh, I mean, there ain't, if you can find schools and you'll know you get a bite, flipping back to the same spot, but this deal here is kind of, they're just kind of mingling around in here. I mean, literally any flip I could catch one on. So I'm just going around and dobbing and jigging all this grass here. And hopefully you drop it on a five pounder's head. I mean, they, they don't swim a long ways to eat baits in this. I mean, you pretty much, you gotta get it within a couple feet of them pretty much. There we go, Wes. There we go. Oh my God, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Yeah! Woo! Beast, beast. Look at him eating that jig. That's the kind of wins you a hundred grand right there. Beast! Look at that, Wes. Just look at that thing. Mwah. It's like a six pounder, dude. Give me some, Wes.